recording baby let's get it all right guys welcome back to the channel today we'll be going over a marvelous designer tutorial and as you can see on the screen this is what we're going to be making a Ja Morant jersey and marvelous designer this tutorial is made for the beginner and also intermediate user of marvelous design and if you're brand new you haven't touched this program you don't even know what this program is do not worry i got you covered so let's go ahead and hop in so as you can see right here, we have the project file already made, already looking good and everything. So this is what we'll be creating. Over here, you got your 2D patterns. This is where you drop your patterns and then your patterns convert to 3D mesh right here. There you go, which is the 3D window. Now, let me pull up my reference so you guys can see what we're going to be making so today we'll be making this memphis 12 jaw morant you know nice and simple we got some reference images got some pattern images and everything like that so let's go ahead and make a new project so you want to go to file new project now you should have nothing in your scene the 2d pattern should be cleared the 3d pattern should be cleared so the first thing we're going to want to do is add an avatar. So if you look on the left side over here, you're going to see garment avatar. You want to double click avatar. Today, we're going to be going into the male V2 folder. Click on it and go ahead and scroll down. You have a variety of options of avatars that you can use. We're going to go ahead and click this MV2N, which is Nate for it a little bit as it's loading. All right. So now that we have Nate inside, you can see. I usually delete the shoes because I like to add my own sneakers that I create in 3D. All right, so we're going to right click and hit delete hair and shoes. All right, so now he's barefoot. Now, before we actually start getting into designing this 3D jersey, I'm going to show you some basic, basic, simple tools to start you off real nice and slow. All right, so the first tool we're going to go up is the rectangle tool, right? So if you just drag that, Wait, as it lowered a little bit, there we go. So now we have our first piece of garment. Nice and simple, it's easy, right? So once you create it in the 2D and you hit this right here, which is normal default, the simulate button, you can see it drops. This is the awesome thing about Marvel's Designer. It's very interactive. All right, so you made your first rectangle, now what? So now we wanna focus on another tool that's very critical. So we're gonna make another rectangle. We're gonna go up here and click add point. The add point is like adding vertices if you ever use a 3D program. If you're very new to 3D, don't worry. I got you covered, okay? Once you click this point, it basically splits it. And now this is what we can do. Let's add a couple more so you guys can really see exactly the power of this tool and the things i'm using to select is the transform pattern which is z and also the edit pattern which is x so now to edit these points i want to click x and just drag this up boom and as you can see it's editing it in the 3d window also so there you go just drag these do 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 all right, so I'm going to just move this so it does, just doesn't fall. You don't have to follow along. I'm just showing you guys an example right here. Move a little bit down, trying to get it over his head. There you go. So when it falls down, and then you want to hit space bar to simulate. There you go. So that is what the add point split line, which is shortcut A, does. All right, so now that you got these simple things out the way, we can finally start on the jersey. So the first thing we want to do, so when making this jersey, as you can see in the 2D, this is actually him over here. So whatever we create is going to translate into the 3D very proportional. So for the jersey, we want to start off with about three squares and drag it all the way down to his hands right here. Then you want to hit A, don't forget. It's the add point split line. And you want to make the collar. Boom, right there. About, about to his collarbone. Because that's usually how far collars go. Now, for if you look at this jersey over here, you can see how it's skinny. And then goes out into that curve. We're going to make that curve right now. So you want to click about this much right here. And then go down. I want to say about right here for his armhole. Then you want to hit X. Scroll, take this down, boom, take this down for the collar. One principle that I use. So you see how our shoulders is sloped at an angle. So therefore we have to slope this down just a little bit to fix 
that angle right there all right then you want to just bring this in just a little bit just take it and drag it in you see how these are very pointy and angular now we want to add some curve to them so right click and add convert to curve there we go okay now we're going to edit this a little bit more but now we have to duplicate the first pattern over hit z and then right click symmetric pattern with sewing there you go now we actually need the back side so you want to hit this hit Control v now you got the back side but you want it to be on the opposite because this is the front and then this is the back so this is the front and then this is the back so then you want a symmetric pattern with sewing again so now right now this is how your avatar and garment should be looking you should have two in the front and then two on the side which are actually the back so the cool thing about marvel's designer when you use their default avatar you can just place the garment on it using shortcut shift f right so these little points are called arrangement points so you can click your garment and then click on the arrangement points and it actually fits the mode of the avatar so we want to click this lower one right here okay there we go now you want to do the same thing for the back boom let's do this one right here so now moving on to the sewing tools so if you look up here so we have the edit sewing which is shortcut b segment sewing shortcut n mn segment sewing free sewing m today we're really only going to be using the edit sewing which is b segment sewing which is n and then the free sewing so let's go ahead and click the segment sewing so now the thing about you want to match these up so these are need to be sewed together click that boom front back and if i went too fast just don't worry just slow down and rewatch the video again all right so there we go now we have it hanging and it's not falling because they're actually merged together through the sewing now we're just gonna fix this up you see as you can see this armhole is way too large so we want to get it to about right here so what you want to do is hit x grab the first point grab the second point and just move it up and then hit space to simulate again then go ahead and move it up a little bit more simulate it okay that's looking way much better all right so now we're gonna fix these armhole because they look real real funny so two things about the curve you have two curve tools c which is this one and if you you can find it up here edit curvature and edit curve point so we're just gonna hit c and just just a little bit till it looks better okay so it's already looking 10 times better so we want to bring this one just in just a little bit to fix that back angle because if you look at the back jersey you can see how it's not as deep as the front see how the front is a little deeper so we just want a slight curve which we have and let's just edit it a little bit more all right so moving on to the front okay hit simulate okay everything looks a little good now we want to make this a little bit skinnier because if we look right here it's, it's pretty skinny right so you want to take you want to hit x take this point and take the opposite point because it's on the back side let me show you why you want to take the opposite point so if i take this point and this point select that one and then shift this is not what we want we want the opposite side so that they're on the same angle right so if i take this right here and on this side and then i just move it in closer boom there you go now it's a little skinny now we just got to edit the curve which is with c boom and then let's let's go ahead and use v so v you have these little red points which are your curve points there you go so now we got the jersey looking nice looking spiffy all right so now we're gonna add the little slit right here which is mad easy it's a little complicated for a new beginner so just follow along you want to hit b you want to hit this point right here drag it up to about there and then once you click this you're going to see this blue dot that is to match it up click right there and then if i go and hit simulate there you go you got that little slit now we want to make the back piece just a little longer so hit x bring this down to about there oh that's a little too much okay right there and then hit simulate now you see nothing really changed that's because we have to edit the sewing one more time there you go and then now we have that little slit right there all right so now that we got the front jersey looking good got the back looking good so now we want to move on to adding some details let's go ahead and move on to actually adding the stripes so if you can see it's one two three four four stripes 
and to actually make the stripes is extremely easy but before we do we have to remove the linked editing z click the patterns and right click and hit remove linked editing what this does is now when you edit one side it doesn't affect the other side and that's exactly what we want so click the sides right click offset as eternal lines reverse direction you want to add about 15 so there we go so this will be our first stripe which is the white one now we're going to work on the third one so in order to make the third one right click offset as eternal line but before we move on let me show you something very important in marvelous designer so when you're offsetting as eternal line it doesn't usually follow the curvature so you usually have to either drag this up like that or you can right click this and hit extend trim the pattern outline and if you don't do that step you're probably going to have some issues moving forward all right everything looks good so we're going to do this one by one go ahead and click that offset as internal lines and hit 35 there we go make sure it's connected if it's not connecting click the line extend trim to pattern outline there we go so there you go and then for the back piece you want to reverse the direction there we go extend trim pattern outline all right so this next process is the same thing rinse and repeat until we get all the stripes done offset as eternal line we're going to do 10. all right so now that we have the white stripe the blue stripe now we're going to move on to making this thinner white and thinner light blue so we want to click this side offset as eternal line but instead of one we're going to actually add two there hit okay then before you click off and while they're highlighted you want to right click and hit extend slash trim pattern outline there we go and do the same thing repeat the same process on the other side too there we go then right click extend to pattern outline so now that we have both sides mirrored and looking good want to actually select all of these there we go we want to select them so we can go ahead and cut and sew so now we have all the stripes now we're going to look at the fabric so we can actually put the blue and the light blue on here all right so now that we have our stripes now we're going to look at the fabric so we can add the blue dark blue and also the light blue onto here so go ahead and search up jersey and we're going to use this fabric right here so go ahead and click and drag now in order to apply the fabric to everything you want to select it and just drag and drop there we go now for this one double click to edit the texture you want to double click this i'm going to actually delete the texture so we can change the color to whatever we want it to be so orange or whatever so now that's white we're actually going to duplicate this so copy i'm going to change this to a dark blue there we go now we're going to select these two pieces hit z left click drop there we go Are already looking better already looking better all right, so now we're going to duplicate this one more time and change this to a lighter blue. So go over here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, at least close. There we go. And then you want to click this last piece and go ahead and drag it. We have the stripes completed. Now we're going to want to do the armhole and also the neck hole right here. So that's very, very simple. Want to click the top, the side, drag in for these. There we go. Make sure you select everything. All right, then you want to right click offset as eternal line and make sure that extend is clicked. Then hit OK. There you go. Everything looks good. It's a little wonky. Let's see what's going on right there. All right, you just want to check your garment. All right, perfect. All right, so once you offset as eternal line, you want to right click and hit cut and sew. Now we have each piece that is separated and sewn back together. Now for this top piece, we're gonna add our blue material. Just drag and drop and make sure we do that for the back. There we go. Now we have that nice collar. And also we have a nice right here. Now you see how this material is. We're actually gonna use a different material for these sides. So you wanna type in a rib and we're gonna use the gray one. Drag and drop. Now we're actually going to change this to white, boom, like that. Drag and drop the rib on the other ones too, boom. Now we actually have to duplicate the rib for the blue and light blue. So let's go ahead and do that also. Dark blue, copy, color picker. So now we want to add the rib to this one, this one. 
all right so you can see that we have a different texture on the side now in order to change the orientation you want to click the rib you want to go up here to edit transform texture and then you want to click the piece and actually rotate it click the piece rotate it so now it's more because if you actually look at our reference it's very very small but they're all going in this orientation so now that we have our textures and everything placed down just want to do another quick look at this everything looks good so now we're going to move on to making this little patch right here so you want to click up here internal rectangle to find a good place it doesn't have to be perfect i'm gonna say about there boom all right then you want to have a rectangle about the same size now all you want to do is just stitch this to this If we look, boom. And the good thing about this, we can always move this around. There we go. Now we want to make these extra pieces too. So we're going to go ahead and click the rectangle. For these two pieces, we're actually going to use a different sewing, which is the free sewing. Now with the free sewing, we connect this, boom, and do it just like that. Boom. All right, so there you go. All right. And we're just gonna add a black texture to that. So it's different. So copy, change the color to black. Okay. And then just add it to it. Boom. All right, so now that we have the final jersey complete, all that is left to do is actually merge these two the middle and the back so you want to hit x click the front pieces merge then you want to take the back make sure you highlight this also and hit merge wait for it a little bit all right so now that we got the front pieces merged and everything looking good just want to check our work all right that's looking nice looking nice all right and here you go the final completion of the jaw moran jersey if you enjoyed this tutorial this mini series stay tuned for part two where we'll be going over the shorts arm sleeves socks leg sleeves and all of it don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell all right guys have a blessed year